can get a lot of good things from it as well. Yeah. We'll see. They're trying to get us a $6 an hour pay raise. Hey. And, see. Yeah. and you know, that might be a little outlandish. Right. But you always start high and then come back more reasonable later. Yeah, I'm thinking we're going to end around like three or four. Yeah, which is needed. Yeah. <laughs> just ridiculous with prices these days to see wages still at where they're at. Yeah, I mean, considering the national minimum wage is still fucking the $7. The federal minimum wage is still yeah. 7 bucks. I don't... Is there any state that still upholds federal minimum, though? Or has every yeah. single state just been like, yeah, okay, y'all dumb? No, I'm pretty sure there are still several states that Jeez. just have it at the federal minimum wage. Ridiculous. Yeah. Oh. Ten-year challenge. A lot of those also have like slightly cheaper cost of living as well. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and, yeah, I and think there it's is. Lot, there's it's like states in the south mostly. Yeah. yeah, they have it in Kentucky. But yeah. still, we're landing stuff that's really still cheap. That's still fucking insane. <laughs> it's still it's still too low, all yeah. things considered. Yes. I mean, even just in the past like four years. Yeah, I can't imagine living on seven dollars an hour. No. Yeah, I make twice that and sometimes. Oh. Impossible. Welcome back to D&D &D House, everybody. <laughs> Shalom. <laughs> Hello. On lighter notes, you guys have just completed Dragon Sanctuary. You're, uh, you're hanging out in the main temple. Smiles has smothered Opwash's green fire that he was giving to humans, which apparently causes some interdimensional timey-wimey bullshit that I Smiles did not want. I into a fish. You did. Yeah. Balrog for for a brief moment was turned into a fish. Pretty dead. I was kicked by a Balrog. You, sure you were was. almost killed. I was dead. Yes. Yeah. That was hilarious. <laughs> was it? That's pretty funny. <laughs> it was it traumatizing cost, in the moment, but it's, it'll make a funny story. It only cost the life of a duck. Yeah. Well, yes. Fuck that duck. Fuck that duck. I mean, don't do that. Mm. Yeah. That's that's illegal. Frowned upon. Just not a just not a humane thing to do. The druid agrees. <laughs> you guys, uh, Smiles gave you guys some of his famed clown tokens, which now, thanks to Haraway's efforts, who has now taken some of your money, tipped his hat, and headed towards his ship. Uh, you at least have some idea as to what it does, if you were paying any attention or listened. But you know, that's up for you guys to remember or not. And uh, as you guys all kind of stand there in that little bit of aftermath, corpses around, cold is gone for good this time. Question mark. Question mark. Of course. Uh, oh, wait a minute. The mirror buzzes. I was just about to the say. The collector comes out and Cola's body is retrieved by Daddy. Very right, well. Yeah. So you might actually see it again later. Well, oh, who yeah, really knows? <laughs> have, you, have you seen the collection thing yet? I don't think so, no. Mm, no. Oh, no, it's, it's great. It's this giant kind of like centipede guy. Okay. But it's more mammalian, pale undead flesh that just clings to the bone and every body it consumes. It just plasters like it's saran wrapped in. Very environmentally aware. Tons of little tiny arms, humongous jowls that go to a really tiny mouth that expand really wide. It's great. It's just, just slight nightmare fuel. Cool, dude. Yeah. I think I drill once. And as that happens, you guys slight, hear it's like nightmare fuel for the quiet nightmare sobbing bus. in the hallway behind you. Yeah, we'll go check on uh, Alicia. She's fine. She's just chilling. Oh, who's the one crying? It's Caroline. Oh. The oh. child. Yeah. You know. You that know. just witnessed one god give the other a mega wedgie. That was, that was dope. <laughs> Watched it Zelly die for a brief moment. Yeah, you know, duck died. Almost died herself a couple of times. Yeah. That that child did it. Got burn marks she's on fine. a good chunk of her body. Yeah, she's. Will lesser restoration fix that? Uh, Derek has already attended to it. Awesome. Yeah, you guys nice. did bring a full cleric, a full support cleric with you, sure did. and yeah. let him cast a single buff spell on you guys before running into combat. Awesome, yeah. I'll, uh... In fact, I don't think most of you even got the buff. I think when he blessed the party, I think you two were out of it. Yeah. <laughs> Didn't need it. 
I didn't use it. We were behind the wall. Behind <laughs> 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 I was just paralyzed the whole time, so. Yeah, it would definitely work. Yeah, I'll uh, go comfort uh, Caroline. Tell yeah, me. she's hyperventilating a little bit. Derek's just kind of looks. She's like, I've done everything magically that I can do, but uh, you, you know, you should probably. It was it was pretty intense for for a while there. Should probably be dead for a little bit. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, she's just kind of buried. The majority of them are yours, the, technically. Just in the corner of the hallway. I'll, uh. This is not one for, you know, the whole dad thing. I'll just give no. her, like, good. Then why do you keep taking children? Why are you adopting <laughs> children, Oozel? <laughs> if you're not a dad. Like, clap on the shoulder. She jumps at that. So. <gasps> it gets easier, I promise. <sighs> She does not respond to that. I want to roll a. Uh, I'm gonna roll profession night check. Poor girl. For hold it is, huh? Uh, because like the whole like oh, shell shocked soldiers and everything, uh -huh. you know, like yeah. calming them down. Sure. And uh, sure. yeah, I want to try to roll that. How how in your past experience of a night? Because I know your backstory and how you trained and how you were forced to train differently per se than uh, everybody else. When did you learn to calm other people down? <laughs> Cause I don't no. think I don't think you ever would have. You know, you make a valid point, good sir. When uh, it's Ellie is better at this than Uzel is. And that worrisome point. So it's that <laughs> Yeah. You got just these flecks of black armor peeling off of you as this symbiote dies. It's it's lived its purpose. It, okay. it served its purpose very well. Like, um, <laughs> yeah, so I reach in and uh, grab a flask, put it in the child's hands. Oh God! Take a drink. <laughs> what are she doing? she goes to what are these knock some back. She's a, 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 a damn near an adult. She's the only one who didn't age up, right? No. Nope. No, she aged up. She did age up. She's <laughs> Amelia. Amelia. Yeah. Keep track of the children. However, they're not she hers. Was, they're not my children. She was until just a couple of days ago, 15, and well, not, drinking short beer, and you just handed her hard spirits. Yeah. So she absolutely failed her fortitude save and just like spits it up immediately. Just that, like, okay. what the fuck? I take it back. Stand her up. <laughs> yeah, you stand her up. Yep. Do you, do you want an opposed grapple check? No, no, you can pick her up just fine. Okay. She's back not pat. resisting you. Let's go. Oh God, it's not my problem. We're Derek emotionally is going to... traumatizing all of these children. Yeah, Derek not takes me. off like the jacket that he has over his robes. And he just kind of like puts it over his shoulders. Like, oh, come on, it's gonna be all right. He's gonna, he's gonna lead her out. <laughs> no, he's not necessarily the right person for this either. But boy, that was not the call. <laughs> She, Bad parents. She kind of just took over, so like I wasn't really doing anything. So you know, maybe. Did you have anything you wish to add? Uh, start, any start any inspirational start. quotes? Tough it up. No, just uh, I'll just tell her she did a good Fishy job. Fish world. Put your big girl okay. panties on. Dennis. Damn good job. And she's just like looking at her hands. I started this campaign feeding men to trolls, and by I'll the like, end of uh, it, I'm gonna I'll have to grow into like, like comforting humans. Wash, like, she melted like hands. so many demons. Yeah. yeah. Help like, you yeah. feed the trolls. Yeah. Doesn't have a lot of blood on her hands. You know, doing the doing the bludgeoning damage. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Stuff, no, because didn't she just like? Ex I think it was Caroline's head that she just like kind of exploded. Last time. Oh yeah, she did. She did vibrate that. Yeah. To, so I'll just you know. There, there is a little bit of blood. She didn't explode it, but she shook her. She shook her like a baby. Turn her brains into smoothie. Give her the brain jelly. Yeah, wash. I'll wash the brain jelly off, and you know. Yeah. Walk with. You know that's a delicacy in some places. You know, not here. <laughs> have you guys had head cheese? No. Boar's head cheese? Yeah. I have. Yeah. We Pretty actually good. don't carry it anymore. No it's, brain, but you know. <laughs> a lot of people yeah. thought it was gross. I, I once, it's, it's just meat and jelly. I once got uh, traumatized from that because I opened my grandma's fridge when I was like eight and it's just a boar's head <laughs> staring at me. And she I was she like, went with the whole head. I was like, <laughs> and I just like closed it and never said shit. You're supposed to slow cook all the meat off and then use that. <laughs> I don't know, man. Because <laughs> to me, like, if you guys had cheek before, cheek's like super tender, really good meat. And, and the rest of the head basically is the same way, but there's nowhere near enough meat on most animals to, to realistically make it worth your while. Mm -hmm. So you slow pressure cook it and it all falls off into the crock pot 
Then you take the skull out and you're good to go. I'm so glad I'm a vegetarian. Jesus <gasps> Christ. You're missing out. You're missing out, you're dude. Missing out. You guys the biggest, enjoy. The biggest point is, is you always take the tongue out separate because the tongue is by far the best meat of the animal. And my God. You take that, boil it, peel off the upper, the, the skin layer that's on it, that tough skin with all the taste buds. Yeah, so you don't you taste that, each other. That'd yeah, be so, weird. yeah, you don't want to taste the cow that'd be in weird. the same, you know. You don't want to kiss. Uh, You're already tasting the cow. But yeah, then you take that, that meat. Cow tastes so, you. Oh my god, it's so, so tender. <laughs> Alrighty. Um, <laughs> to retrieve before we go back to the boat. You're, you're going to go back to the cave? Sure fucking am. I have a fucking skull to retrieve. You do have a skull. Derek heavily recommends that we just take Caroline to the boat. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. We're, it's on some way. You got to, like, dig? No, because we already, we already dug it up and everything. You got it's a little bit like, exposed. Yeah, yeah. It's, just, it's just chilling. All right. So, like, yeah, we'll grab that real fast and then we'll see on the boat. Yeah. There's there's a couple oh. small engagements and stuff as there are still plenty of demons on the island that you guys take is of no real consequence, especially now that kind of the major stuff has been handled. You uh, go retrieve your skull. It's covered in blood and viscera and acid. It's gonna take a lot of time to clean. Oh, but... that's... can I? I want to send a prayer to the Lord Dragon. Yeah. Um, Letting him know that I've cleansed his temple and I thank him for the blessing of Drake he bestowed upon me. Thank you, kind sir. You do so. Does it? You feel good. Good. It feels good to pray to your God. Feels good. Someone should. <laughs> Someone, Someone should. should. I pray my God all the fucking time. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I just killed this thing for her, so like. You kind of just have that, that, that understanding. Like, we don't talk a whole lot, but like. We get shit done. <laughs> it's like, hey, do this thing. Gotcha, boss. <laughs> On it. Efficient. Do the thing, and do the thing. She's like, dope. Yeah, and night is in. just about upon you, and the demons are just about beginning to come out in full force when you guys reach the shoreline, and the longboat picks you up. You race as fast as you can back to the ship, and get the hell out of there. I want to, like, as we're going away, and, like, I'm assuming, I'm, like, I'm, like picturing... Like the image, like we're like starting to row away as like demons are starting to like swarm the beaches and everything. I want to roll an intimidate check on like these demons. Yeah. Just cause like, fuck you guys. Came here once. Fucked you up. Came here twice. Two time, you up. two time <laughs> champ, baby. <laughs> <laughs> All me, baby. <laughs> two for two, bitches. They will remember me. <laughs> I'm about to flex on these demons. Oh, about to fucking cocoa on these demons. Uh -huh. Um, 38. Yeah, you, you intimidate a good chunk of demons. You feel your cool fill up. But then they begin chanting as you guys. Oh, God. Away. Dope. Here we go. And this huge demon, kind of crab-like in nature, walks up onto the beach and stares out at the longboat, raises one huge clop into the air, gives this humongous crack. You can see like pressure waves come off of it. The demons are all like, whoa, yeah, that's our guy. Big meaty does claws. Not, does not seem like meaty claws pursues you though. No. Go back and I'm just gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna point at the- uh... You could. I'm gonna point at full fast skull. It's not a good look for the damn. I'm just gonna just yell. Lift up this yeah, huge I skull. Yeah, I got, I got two. Yeah, I'll if lift up that one. I'll lift up the other. Like do. big boss demon that's on my shoulder. Just look at him. You're not gotcha. special. Flip him off. <laughs> leave. Come back for you later. Got another shoulder that's uh, itching for another. Well, this one would be way. Job. This is this is. It's um, like a chess piece. This is a size up from huge. This was a huge beast that you just linked. Gargantuan. This is like a gargantuan, gargantuan beast. Not this is this is suburban house size demon. <laughs> You're not special, but let's let's keep let's keep let's rowing. Just, just <laughs> dip, cause like ooh. let's keep going away. I'm not afraid of you, but we're leaving. We'll be back. We'll be back. Yes. Demons don't don't seem to believe your uh, confidence. Anymore. They seem to be yelling. That's my 
profanities at you and calling you a coward for running now. That's fine. Came when I or got what we came here for. Listen, bro, you we poke that bear. You better keep doing that shit. Oh yeah, no. no. All, all about no. your poke. <laughs> you guys get back to the ship. It's a relatively short voyage. Just a couple hours, in all honesty, back to Ganesh Island, where you guys are gonna nest down again for the night. And then you gotta charter a ship back to Not Quite Bronze. Mm -hmm. Another week after that. Hell yeah. Um, around what time would you say we get back to Ganesh Island? Probably 10, maybe 11 o'clock at night. Okay, bet. I have some slight business to attend to. Where? Um, I would like to go to the market of some one of the markets. Yeah, you and go to the main island. Purchase a large quantity of rum. Oh yeah. <laughs> if you're looking to buy rum, you That's can it. still do that most certainly at this hour. Perfect. Easy. Perfect. A large quantity of rum to stock the bar with. Yeah. So like. Um. Anybody got a core rule book right next to yeah. one of those? <laughs> Page just past 140's got our goods and services. Also, before we set out in the morning, I want to buy a bunch of health potions. And let's that. see here. Health potions are pretty dope, dude. They really, really pretty are. dope. That, again, that's just one thing that like I've just never bought. I have my land on hands. It's pretty good. I guess I don't have it by the keg. So let's see here, a keg is 55 gallons, one gallon at two silver pieces. So 110 gold pieces, or 110 silver pieces to, so 11 gold. Per keg? Per keg. One fifty keg. Easy. And you guys are and awakened. I will tip three gold for them to find other people to load it on. <laughs> you can, you can easily me. find some dock boys to to load it for you. Yeah, for sure. I was like, they'll I put them on some pallets. I'm not that shit. <laughs> <laughs> oh fuck. Okay, let's get back to the island. You pass out. Caroline and the girls are. Uh, Girls are all trying to grill her questions, and she is having a hard time answering. I'm gonna like, I'm just gonna bark at the uh, fucking small children. Just yell at them, and be like, "Hey, yeah. leave her alone for tonight." They all literally jump. Good. Leave her alone for tonight. Yeah. We'll questions so. can wait until morning. The only one who doesn't seem to be questioning her on anything is Adara, but she's a good girl. You think she knows? Yeah, she's she's <laughs> all <I've been. laughs> she great. Is. Yeah, they all bunker down, and you guys are rudely awoken at 5 a.m. because it is Sunday, and you're at a temple. And I'm too lazy to distinguish individual days for individual gods, so Ganesh's day is Sunday. Yes. <laughs> Fair enough. Uh, all the monks are having a service. The bells are going off. You hear chanting and singing. You can join if you so desire, but uh, there is no obligation being a guest of the island to actually go. Kenosi likes chanting and singing. Go. I'll like, I'll just like <laughs> say just like a very brief, quick prayer to Ganesh. Just be like, hey, thanks for. Thanks for letting us sleep on your dirt. Yeah, pretty much. <laughs> Appreciate you, boss. Then cool. I need to head to the market. <laughs> I do not do that, but I also go to the market. Cool. Also gonna go to the market. I'll go to the market afterwards. <laughs> Y'all go to the market. You stay for the service. It's very nice. You get a one d six inspirational die. Dope. To utilize at any point. Does Kenosi also get? Oh, absolutely. Yeah. He gets 100%. 2d6. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Kenosi's the lad. And remember, of course, inspiration die. You have one die, starts at the d4, maxes out at the d12, and goes up by size category accordingly. So d6 would be two increases of size category if you already have some inspiration. But I hand that out very seldomly. So. What are you looking for at the market? Health potions. Health potions. Health potions. Health potions. You know the prices? No. No. Uh, 25 times spell level, sp times spell level, times caster level. Okay. So if I'm wanting... Uh, what, which ones did you get, Donald? 
I got um, 3d8 plus 15. Those were 7 I think those are 750. That is a third level spell cast at 15th level. So you need 15 times 3 times 25. I so you're on that. looking for chocolate. 50. That's you right. You've been looking for chocolate for ages. Not only do you find chocolate, you find Huntress chocolate. Ooh, from the, the good Woods. shit. How the much? best chocolate. That here is gourmet. There is your. The artisans of the Huntresses do not do a lot of trading, and so it is a rather rare commodity. And it's not necessarily like, um, it's not like it's controlled how much is sold to outsiders, but just because through the nature of so few Huntresses choosing to interact with outsiders, there's so little trade that goes on. You're looking at like five gold pieces for a Hershey's bar. No, how much can I buy? There's probably maybe five dozen bars available. I take them all. Okay. I'm taking them all. You do so. It's like 300 gold. Some of them have fruit flavors infused and different stuff. It's it's definitely the good stuff. I don't have any. I don't have enough money to get uh, health potions. Well, Is maybe you should then look at Cure Light Wounds. Lower quality Nah, chocolate. see, like, because mine are Cure Moderate. 25 times 1 for first level spell at Cure Light Wounds, and then times 5 for the full plus 5 bonus, 1d8 plus 5. Or you could get even less Cure Light Wounds at chocolate? first caster level Mark that is just 1d8 plus 1 hit points at 25 gold apiece. If you can get, like, uh, cocoa... Okay. Or you can find a lot of natural remedies, like I you got in Fight Bronshire, that are those just 2d4 straight. Those cost maybe ten gold Cacao. pieces a pop. Right. How much were those? Uh, you yeah. said of the, like the the plus five ones, cure light wounds. So that's twenty five times five. Cocaine. Twenty five times yes. five. Which we also have taken. <laughs> twenty five. So. Cocaine. Looking for some drugs? <laughs> no. <laughs> it's, the, it's the pirate islands. They've got the drugs. Well, so like. <laughs> the, there is no. There are. There's Listen. technically no laws here. So we want. Is it, does cacao, does it grow on a tree? I think so. Yeah. I think so. Yeah, mm-hmm. it, it's so like a big pod. Cacao tree. Would they have one of those here? Sure. The leaves are what makes cocaine. Dope. Okay. We'll take no. one of those as well. Yeah. And then you didn't know. these didn't organs know. were wondering if we could find cocaine plants. Well, I Isn't wasn't asking about cacao. cocaine. Yeah. It's that from the him. leaves instead it's, of the seeds. We, really? we, can, uh-huh. we can make both. Oh. Yeah, so we'll take two trees. I've okay. watched, I've watched Narcos. How much? <laughs> I have not. <laughs> it it just, uh, it, how, how big do you want? How developed already? Pretty developed. Because they don't grow super tall from my understanding. No, I don't nah. think so. They're, they're kind of like a shrubby I'll, tree. Yeah, mm-hmm. I'll double check. So you could probably get full grown for like five gold. Oh, oh shit. Fuck, we'll take ten. Yeah, dude. And you could just chew right. on, you could just chew you on the You guys might be getting to a point balls. of cargo where that chartering happens. a ship might get a little bit more expensive at this point. Because That's you can't scary. just like jump on to someone who's already trading goods. You are now the entire delivery. Oh, okay. Oh, wait, I they get pretty tall. They get pretty tall? Yeah. Okay, so you could get just like... 20 to 40 feet. Oh. Everyone that I ever saw was just like this, mm-hmm. like, shoulder height. I think so you could get like that size for 10 gold. Realistically, you cannot transport fully grown ones. Unless but they're lumber. But that's okay. I, lumber, can, I can help their growth along later. Okay. Yeah. So then, Lucian can as well. We a little bit. A little bit, yeah. I can, do, I can do a little bit. He's an animal druid. He really doesn't do a lot with plants, but plant growth isn't an unknown spell to the world. Yes. You know. Okay. Bartholomew's okay. a plant druid, though. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yes. Is there a harbor master around here? Yeah. There's actually a couple because the harbor's so big. I would like to talk to one of them to see if I can find next time or where the diamond is going to be, which is the bear ship. Yeah, um, they check their logs. It left port last they have it on any record, and it takes a good little while to go dig through everything. Mm-hmm. You got to go over back to that other island with the Temple of Poseidon where they keep all the records for it. But um, when was that ship's last time here? It was, what, two months ago? So next month, generally speaking, on its rotation, either next month or the month thereafter, it's expected to be around. Do they know the route of it? Uh, they knew that it was heading north. 
Okay. Uh, seems to be the only ship that goes around Mad, the Mad King's territory, the peninsula of Goldshire, to actually get up to the Northlands and do any real trading or whaling okay. up there. And so because that, they don't spend a whole lot of time down here because their goods move so fast because they've basically got a monopoly on the market. There's some small trading that goes along on the far east coast that then goes through Barenthal and it'll mm -hmm. come around, but that has to then go all the way around the Great Continent to get back to the Pirate Isles, whereas this guy's just got to take, you know, a week voyage north. Okay. That's another thing I want to do. I want to buy a map. <laughs> yeah. Easy. Really is good of, of just the Pirate Isles or of the Great Continent? Great Continent. Cool. You buy a map. Uh, I think maps are like a silver piece. Generally. Okay. Great content. Is there anything else you want? And I can print you out of Uh No, I'll spend point. the rest Probably of the day. White, oh, um, we're not trying to ship out? No, I mean, yeah, we, I also spend the day on the ship. You know. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, because you do have a week voyage yeah. uh, from whenever you guys depart. So you charter a ship. There's plenty of ships out looking to move cargo places and. Moving to not quite bronze isn't the scariest thing in the world. Is there anything else that we want while we're at a good trading center? Uh, not particularly the thing that Oceans. I want. I, need to... um, I wanted to go into the market and see if there were any animals that they're trying to sell that I can liberate. Those, are all, at the, those are all at the old market. Exactly. And so it is, it is a separate island okay. that you have to go to, not but you're more than welcome to go. There is, uh, if you ask around the party, and There's if they tell you, panda. they did see this little red panda. What? They, they had a red panda. He wouldn't accept the red panda yeah. as his warrior bear. <gasps> I, want a, I want a polar bear. Well, I, saw, I don't know how long we're going to be here, so. Well, I mean, you could just grab it, and we can ship off. Yeah. I mean, Snag it real quick. I'm down for that. <laughs> She's going to buy the red panda. No, I'm not. I'm going to liberate it. Well, you know. <laughs> Do you guys get a ship chartered? Yeah. When do you plan on uh, setting sail? Yeah, just tell me when to be back and I'll be back. As when soon as possible. Ish. They start loading up your stuff, there's ships available. So, okay. so you should probably hurry up this on is, that. This cool. is the place of sea travel. And Lord help you, How? if you get caught, I'm... I'm not helping Just you. don't. You got what, 10 <laughs> small trees and how many kegs are you moving? 50. 50 kegs. Six children. Plus six to children, Jimmy, Derek, Mark, and y'all. 13, 14. 14 folk, rabbit, and a... Red rabbit, panda. Rabbit, you red panda. Soon to be a red panda. Let's uh, see how many I can grab. You guys. Oh, and my for... full-size dog. Oh, yeah. yeah. It's, it's, yeah. And, and one wolf dog. And a dire wolf, yep. And how many children do we have? Six. Six? Six. Five? Five. 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 Seven? Five I have plus three. Kenosi. Yeah, I have three. 23? You have two. Yes. Yeah, five. five. Five 23? plus Kenosi. Plus Kenosi. Yeah, Harway's gone. The other two children are gone. Oh, yeah. <laughs> is there any way to, like, permanently increase your knowledge skills? Or no? Like, could you You put or skill points into them. Yeah, there are, there are tomes you can get to, to get extra bonuses on certain knowledges. Okay. There's feats, uh, like skill focus, of course. Okay. Is there any way you could like read a book and increase it, or does that only give you a temporary bonus? There are magical tomes that you can get, but they're quite pricey. As is with And <laughs> So I can't just like go read a history book and get no. history knowledge? No. You can, you can get books on specific topics, and if you spend a certain amount of time reading them, you can get a bonus on a related knowledge roll, but it only lasts for the one roll. Got it. Those are those, are those like temporary downtime spending. Okay. And when you, and you guys at any point can choose to spend downtime and be like, yeah, I'm preparing for the next jousting tournament, and so I'm gonna practice with Altivo and do the jousts, and per four hour downtime you spend, you get a passive plus two bonus on a jousting related roll. Those cannot be used in real combat, and they can't be Fiddle fudged too terribly far to be like, well, I was practicing jousting, so I was riding on a horse. So in all reality, this ride check to get up this mountain, I should be able to add this bonus to. And it's like jousting is different from mountain climbing. Stop. Just Skyrim climbing a fucking mountain. <laughs> yeah, your yeah. horse. Yeah, exactly. All right, Altivo, we need to go up but there. Yes, there are options. <laughs> okay. And you're looking at about 250 gold pieces to ah. privately charter a boat to get across. Well, thank you. Generous benefit. 
You're used to paying for everything anyway. Excuse you. <laughs> um, I find the children, specifically yeah. Carolyn. Yeah, she's she went to the service and she seems to be hanging out with Mark and the other gals and Derek right now. Jimmy seems to be doing some rehabilitation work all over just on Ganesh Island. I pull out one of my bars of chocolate. <laughs> Is that gonna make me almost puke like the water from yesterday? Ooh, no, this is delicious. Built. Eat it. You say all your spirits are delicious, too. In a different way. This is good. Try right. it. She hesitantly takes a bite out and then just immediately eyes go wide. She's... What teen girl isn't into chocolate? Perfect. I, I, sh I give each of the children the chocolate. Oh, yeah. Oh, They're yeah. excited about That's that. That's all they get. Chocolate. I'm not sharing. That's all you get for the yeah, whole your voyage. crates of chocolate are getting loaded on the boat. You give them one bar each, and they're just like, "It's oh. all you get." And, and they're all children. The they, have, they have no concept of like saving, so they just eat the bar right then and there. You're gonna wake up in the middle of the night to so the children like raiding the chocolate crates. <laughs> Adora, Adora knows where they are. <laughs> I put a padlock on it. She already knows the combination. <laughs> I'll just do an elaborate series of traps and pitfalls. One girl can't navigate she's that. She's four peril. Yeah, she can't navigate it. She can tell Caroline. Caroline can navigate it. Okay, watch out for that. That plank is a fake one. Yeah. yeah. Right going to shoot poison darts. <laughs> oh, it's got a retinal scan. We'll send Maria. She can, she can fake it Sally's eye. <laughs> We created oh, no. you, you guys have a full adventuring team of just your, of just your gals at this point. This is great. <laughs> they trained the dog to do a couple of tricks, and they're, they're looking primo. <laughs> you head to the old island. Yeah. Yeah. There are lots of animals to be in liberated. lots of cages. Cool. Way too small for them. Most of them are bigger animals. There's a lot of, like, rhinoceroses. There's some smaller dinosaur Ooh. species. There I want a dinosaur. Small <laughs> bears. What? Yeah, there's some raptors and stuff. All right. Uh, we just looked at the bears. And exactly. it seems like the prime polar bear. buyer is mm -hmm. the Colosseum at the south end of the main island. Mm -hmm. And that's kind of that's kind of more the animal trade you're looking at. There's a lot of exotic pets that go too, though. There's a lot of parrots, a lot of uh, smaller, fluffier, more helpless chinchillas are really popular, but mm -hmm. very few of them make it all the way down here being yeah, so tropical and then coming from the Iron Mountains up north and the only port being the Silver Shores from the dwarves being she able to trade with them. die if you stress them out even a little bit. Also true. Poor little dudes. Yikes. But they're so though. cute. They're so cute. There's some hedgehogs. Dude, I fucking love hedgehogs. We a had a hedgehog hedgehogs? named Chloe when I was a kid. It was dope. Yeah, hedgehogs are great. <laughs> Any pretty fast hedgehogs? No. Blue ones. Nope. They also had an alligator. <laughs> they're, all <laughs> they're all healthy. healthy. Yeah, I'm wondering which ones look like they're in the worst shape. And uh, and over at kind of the yes. far end, there's one older gentleman sitting around, and he's got a couple black bears in cages. They're not looking so good. And one absolutely adorable red panda. Oh my god. <laughs> okay. Um, what's your plan here? What's your plan? First of all, Chief? let's. Uh, let's do something I never do and uh, pray to my god. Let's uh, let's pray to Fenrir. Yeah. Because he's all about um, freedom, right? And yeah. Being free and, and yeah. whatnot. Yeah. So, um, yeah. Are you going to spend any prostheses or anything? Just listen, man. Well, you I know, know we haven't great. talked in a while, but uh, we've got to save these animals. I have a single point of prestige, so I don't know if that's enough to impress him. But um, it is not uh, three <laughs> points minimum to get some to get some god influence. That's what I thought. Or one of the coins. Prestige? I don't want to take your prestige. Do you want? I should have split these up anyways. Do you want three god tokens? Hmm. Or I'm one god token. For you. Yeah. A, any any oh, amount two. of god tokens will two, get two. a god's attention. Do with the two, with the specific types like the clown tokens, you I know, know we Fenrir's got not interested in the trickster well. tokens. Right. right. And then everybody also gets two clown tokens. Yeah, I'll I'll use a god token. But a clown could cause chaos. 
Yeah, the clown. Could. It's conjuration magic that you comes from it. You guys know both. that much. Yeah, I, the clown could be a distraction. What else are clowns for? Yeah, what else are they for? Um, so, yeah, I'll use the god token and... Uh, right. And what, what are you uh, praying for? What's your, what is your specific request? My request is yeah. to aid me in freeing as many of these um, caged animals as possible. Specifically the red panda. <laughs> you should probably add the caveat in there without being detected. No. Oh. <laughs> no one's gonna that's not, that's not your MO. That's not my MO at all. <laughs> when has she ever been revolution. stealthy? You feel a metallic taste in your mouth. Okay. As your teeth are momentarily turned to steel. Interesting. Momentarily turned to steel? Chew through the cage. Yeah, let's I'll do it. I'll turn into a rat if I need to. <laughs> <laughs> you're already a rabbit. I mean, you're close. Yes, yeah. yeah, it's close. <laughs> Great. Okay. Well, thank you for whatever that was. Um, Goodbye, one god token. Yeah. <laughs> can I roll a sense motive on that? <laughs> Why are my teeth? So you can oh, that's chew pretty good. The... Yeah, I'm, I mean, I'm, that's what I'm assuming. But yeah. So you can chew through the bars. Yeah. Or locks. Cool, cool, cool. I'm down for that. Um, Undetectedly. Are the bears in, like, one cage, or are they in separate They're, they're separated out. Okay. Since uh, bears are not communal litters. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Probably gonna have to talk to all of them, chew through all of the bars, and then have them all scatter at once, cause like... Yeah, that's fine. Um, so, how does Kenosi feel about going to distract the man, showing like his tricks or something? You best be careful. Not, not getting close enough to get I get to caught. do my tricks? Yes, but you don't get close enough because these men are not nice and they'll try to put you in a cage. And if they do that, I'm really going to have to kill someone. Yeah, he just walks off. Okay. He's gone. He's, he's ready. Okay. So while he's distracting that man, I'm going to go and try to talk to the bears. He goes and immediately like tries to start juggling. And the dude just like looks at him for a second and goes, I can make a lot of money off that fucking money. And he just like... Goes okay. No, 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 like, no. Whoop, whoop, and like, <laughs> yeah, we're tries, he tries to stay like you know, 15 feet away at any given moment, mm -hmm. and is just kind of moving around. He picks up the attention from a couple other of these salesmen as well. And it seems to like the now bars, there's it might be now mine. Now might be the fucking time. Yep, yep. <laughs> you you immediately beeline it to the bars, start going at it. Yeah. Well, I'm gonna tell the bears like, hey guys, I'm gonna we're, I'm, I'm gonna get you out. I'm gonna get out as many young. of you can, as as I can, <laughs> and then your job is to distract everyone else. They just look they're they just I'm so hungry, man. So the first one I'm actually gonna use uh uh what is it? Rusting grasp, I think. Oh yeah. So I'll do that on the first one. Is that a uh, single use spell or is it a duration? Single use. Okay. Yeah. You hit that cage and just So the first bear's out. And yeah, he just immediately like gives you a little nod mm -hmm. and heads straight for one of the stalls selling meat. That's fine. Because a lot of these exotic animals that do not make it wind up at the butcher's shop across the way. Oh, God. Well, that's his prerogative. That's Get fine. Get those tongues in there. Yeah. Uh, Men are shouting. Tail, People man. are coming out with, you know, like the dog catcher loops with the wire at the back end and the loop at the front. Iguana going the for stick. both the bear and Kenosi. Okay, I'm, I'm going to tell Kenosi because we're bonded, right? Yeah. So I'll tell him to leave. Yeah, he Let's just go. turns and beelines. Yeah. Nice. Until I'm good. Forest nice. or wherever he can hide. Yeah, there's. It's not a big island. Yeah. Unfortunately. That's fine. But if he wants to come back to me, then I'll like carry companion him. But sure. Yeah. You can do that easy. Okay. Cool. Where are you gonna carry him, Madam Rabbit? Oh, I don't know. You got. <laughs> you still wear like your drood, your little rabbit druid vest. I do. And yeah, stuff. I have so my You got, you got little pockets on that. He's like the size of a chess piece. You can you can carry that pretty easy. Solid. I'm sorry, are you the size of a human but a rabbit? Or no, like, I'm just a rabbit. The size of a rabbit. A rabbit. <laughs> that would have been. I have, I have, little, I have little Come rabbit to find out this whole time. Some little <laughs> funny monstrosity. She's just the Easter bunny. Yeah, it's been like. Nope. <laughs> just know. looks like motherfucking like the Easter little bunny rabbit. suits. <laughs> just been with a furry. I mean, you know. <laughs> big fur, big fur, a rabbit, but still a rabbit. Wait a minute. I can become huge animals now, can't yes, I? Yes, you can. Unfortunate. Do you wild shape skin? I should. You should? Do you? Because you're trying to do this incognito like. Yeah, I thought incognito. There's already I'm just bear thinking I could probably break down some of these cages faster. Or you people, could chew yeah. through them with your are metal you, Are you actively chewing? 
Um, While you're considering these decisions? Well, I'm going to I'm gonna carry Companion Kenosi first, yeah. and then I'll start chewing through the cage. All right, yeah, you get a couple bars into your next cage, and mm -hmm. they've got that first bear roped down. Mm -hmm. They're starting to sedate him. Oh, shit. Yeah, there's, <laughs> okay. there's, a, there's a good chunk of people here, mm -hmm. you know, so you, you might have to find some kind of way to pick up the pace. A Are a bit. lot of them in the same area? Oh, yeah. Can I cast an entangle on them? Yeah, absolutely. You, you hit this entanglement yeah. around. That is 100% going to slow them down. Cool. They are uh, now calling for axes to hack through <laughs> these vines and shit, too. Solid. Okay. Um, That's like a second starting to try to go and look for the culprit. As you go and you're pinching down on these bars, they're cutting like butter. Okay, cool. Let's do it. Just chomp through as many of them as I can. You, I'm about to say, if you just go for like the locks, it probably would go easier than just individ individual bars. Yeah, that's bars. what I was thinking too. Um, but I might need to change it to something that can actually reach it, because I can't reach You can jump. You're a rabbit. Rabbits jump. Okay, that's Kelsey fine. could pick you up. Kelsey <laughs> could pick you up, yeah. I just turned him into a stone that I'm carrying in my druid vestments. <laughs> <laughs> you're jumping up, biting these locks, yep. letting these cages swing open. Mm -hmm. Couple bears are coming out. You get the red panda because he's right there. Yeah. He kind of looks lost for a moment. You can come with me, buddy. You don't have to stay here. He's like, Yeah. Little <laughs> <laughs> hands. He, yeah, he trots after you as his chaos ensues. You, uh, you spend a good minute or two chewing through Chomping a through. good chunk of locks awesome. before somebody finally points out and it's like, it's the rabbit! <laughs> it's biting through the locks! It's like, rabbits can bite through locks? Get it! Why is it wearing a vest? Soon enough, <laughs> what, is, uh, what is your AC? Um, at this point, when they're noticing me, can I wild shape into something else? Yeah. It's a little what scarier. Do you, what do you wild shape a into? A dire tiger. Yeah, you turn into this dire tiger yeah. and everyone just to be like, ooh, and like these blowguns come out. And <laughs> okay. <laughs> Yeah. You're going to start trying to shoot this little darts at you. This is literally an island where they capture animals. I know. Yeah. I don't know how well <laughs> turning into another animal is going to do. Well, I can't turn into a gnome. Okay, but you can turn into a large bird. Yes, that's the panda and fly away. That's fly the away. next thing. Yeah, immediately a couple darts kind of hit around your shoulder and top of your head. And I need a fortitude save. <laughs> okay. Let's Listen, if you get sold for a dude's profit, that's on you. No, I have a backup if I Step don't right make up, this fortitude the rabbit that turns save. into a tiger that can bite through steel. Yes. <laughs> Starting auction begins at Ooh, and he's going to get Kenosi. Not a that's like a goal. straight win. <laughs> it's a steal. 20. 20? Yeah, you're starting to feel Kay. a little drowsy. You can already start feeling a little bit of this poison. Okay, I'd like effect. to cast freedom of movement on myself. Yeah. <laughs> That's my two fourth level spells for the day. Um, Which is good because, like, the ropes with stones at the end yeah. are coming next, yeah. you know? Bolas. Cool. Are those um, bolas? Mm -hmm. So, yeah, if it's got on both ends, it's bolas that they go for the legs, but then you'll also have just lengths of rope with, like, a large rock or a mm. spear or some, a harpoon at the end, and you just try to get it over to get some downwards pressure. People go try to pick it up on the other end and stuff. And, okay, yeah. Cool. Now would be a good time to leave. How many more cages can I get before someone starts to catch up with me? With a, with a decent running start, you could probably get another four or five cages. Cool, let's do that. You note your claws have been coated in that steel as well. Nice. And so you can just kind of pass by, Slash make a quick little swipe, and yeah. keep going. You're at least a good chunk of animals. A good couple of guys are killed from rhinos charging and bears mauling. And I don't the good general chaos, lots of birds flying off. You're gonna set for a couple of lobsters. <laughs> easy. Oh no, entire tank of lobsters yeah. is now communally making their way towards Into the, the ocean yes. at top speed. Good for them. Go lads! <laughs> They're like, <laughs> yeah, and of course you, you can speak with animals, so you're hearing that as it's going, it's like, quickly, I have a cousin who lives nearby. He can snip these rubber bands off us in a yeah. no time. The coppers will never catch up. Come on, boys. <laughs> Freedom awaits. Cheese it, boys. <laughs> <laughs> okay, cool, cool, cool. Um, uh, but yeah, eventually they're. Yeah, they're gonna you, catch you up. feel some more darts hit your butt, mm -hmm. and the wooziness is gonna come. Yeah, on once quick. once the spell wears off, it's gonna. It's gonna yeah. Be real fun. Yeah, you're gonna get fucking smacked. Um, How long do you have with freedom? It's like ten minutes. It's not bad. That's not bad. Do you push the full duration? Maybe enough. You shouldn't. Because um, you still have to make escape artist checks and fortitude saves. Yeah, and I still have bonus. to get back to you. Let me make sure what the... 
We're just gonna see her like flying back the red panda. One paralyzed wing. Yeah. (laughs) Just like so many birds behind her. Oh, it's ten minutes per level. I'm Gucci. Okay, yeah, you got you got a good chunk of time. (laughs) We just see smoke rising in the distance. (laughs) So so you can't fall unconscious from the sedative, but you could still potentially be locked down and Mm -hmm. killed. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. I um, because some of the more powerful animals, right, like the rhinos and stuff. Yeah. They're not going to be able to just recapture that easily. Yeah. The, during a rampage, they're probably just going to wind up eventually getting put down. Mm. So you really you probably just killed a bunch of those animals. I couldn't leave that island. No. I mean, yeah. yeah. <laughs> island, where the fuck are they going to go? There's a lot more people than And animals. if it really turns into a problem, they're pirates. They have cannons. <laughs> Just shell the island for a couple of days. Yeah. And build a new market. Fuck it. <laughs> Start from a new. Last an elephant with a cannon. No lobster lives. <laughs> lobster lives matter. There's an ant farm. It's in a glass tank. You just knock it over. <laughs> Listen, they're, they're like oh. dig boys. Yeah. <laughs> the ants Please. will be fine. <laughs> it's like that scene in freaking Madagascar. <laughs> Hmm. How do you? How long do you stay? You you've got well more than enough time to free everything. Okay. However, yeah. how are you getting them actually out? Yeah, that's that's the thing now. Other than murdering everybody. I mean, I shouldn't have said that. <laughs> so I can potentially take seven more animals with me if I use all of my third level spell slots and second level spell slots for carry companion. How many of them can you get to the maximum friendliness with you? I don't know. They're already pretty, pretty They're already pretty uh, on top of you got any jerky? on top of helping you out with things. Come with me or not. <laughs> but you know. Mm-hmm. That's how you achieve friendliness. Just inform them, either come with me or you're going to die. <laughs> me or death. Trust me or die. Trust me or die. Let's see here. All those poor animals. No, they'll be fine. No, they, they won't. won't. How is the rhinoceros going to get off an island? About to say, you better pick up those like, really large ones that are definitely going to die. <laughs> and the red panda. Red panda, obviously. He's following you. He's a little perturbed when you turned into a tiger, but it's okay. He's following. He probably just got scared and was like, ah! "Yeah." <laughs> he made himself big for a little while. Mm-hmm. Made him feel better. Is it a girl or a guy? Red panda. I guess you gotta find out. <laughs> she guy. is a veterinarian. Druid. I am a veterinarian. It's a dude. Dude, red panda. <laughs> Okay. So one way to find out. Well, no, Druid could ask. Take a gander. <laughs> Holy shit, we have another dude in the party. Yeah. So at the moment, it was just me, you, and Kenosi. <laughs> and Jimmy and Derek. See, Jimmy, they, they, Derek, Mark. They just recently, oh, Mark as well. But uh, Jimmy and Derek like, just recently became part of the party. Yeah, so, like, the dude who's been cooking back at the bar. <laughs> How many animals are running around here? Oh, dozens. Dozens. Awesome. Not to mention the birds dozens. that obviously Just don't belong dipped. here, yeah. but are now well, the birds can flying fuck around. Off. They, yeah, they can do. In their non-natural things. habitat. And Invasive species only and all chance that. is to fly across the ocean, basically. But you know, yeah. no, they can fly to Ganesh Island, right? They'll be yeah, right to another right eagle, but it's another yeah. right to another pair of fire miles. Some of these birds, what I'm saying, are not from the tropics, right? You have like golden eagles, or like um, a penguin. Yeah, like a penguin. <laughs> you know? yeah, like a penguin. And then... Penguins, of course, can't fly, um, yeah. <laughs> but they could swim very easily to the next island. Got, like, but, yeah, a there are of there chickens. are a good deal. There's like some condors and stuff. You know, birds that just have no purpose existing in the tropics without assistance. A snowy wood owl? Yeah, yeah, you know, just some good yeah, old... Yeah, there's, there's a snowy owl. Mm-hmm. Sure. Some good old invasive species. Absolutely. Ecosystem just, you know, destruction. A few arctic wolves. A few arctic wolves yes. just running around the tropics now. <laughs> Couple of bears. Nope, none of them. Aw, oh, damn. <laughs> Plenty of black bears, though. What are you going to do? Like two bears. dozen of them. Yeah, walk outside and they're like three wolves waiting. There's a couple lions. <laughs> you know, 
carry your ass up. Mm. Carry your face and shit. Not to mention all these little dinosaurs. You've never seen any of them around here. No, but that's awesome. Right now there's dinosaurs. Oh, what have you done? I freed them. <laughs> the Jurassic Park sound. Yeah. You're familiar with a lot of these guys, but you're not there to... No. Nope. We have no idea this is happening. Also, She's on her own. Not like you'd help with wrangling animals. No. Too much anyway. <laughs> I can try. Whoa. She just stirs Quick, make them friendly towards you, Adele. <laughs> <laughs> it's impossible. What are those? What are those? Oh, bringing back the ancient vines. <laughs> so what's the plan, Stan? Yeah, you, you've gotten do? this far. Yeah, They're all free. Hmm. You only got so much time on freedom of movement. It's a good chunk of time, but it is only so much time. Quickly pick a solid seven to carry with you and then get the fuck out of there. Yeah. <laughs> Because the rest are going to die. <laughs> okay. Die. I mean... Pick a solid six. <laughs> Granted, they were going to die anyway. Turn but... into a giant bird. Okay, yeah. Um, what kind of bird? Probably like a... I don't know. Great see. albatross. <laughs> yeah, just something that can carry a lot. A An albatross. Pelican. How many? Yeah, the I can carry a bunch of animals in my pelican. <laughs> Gross. Trust you me. get the chinchillas. <laughs> get in my mouth. <laughs> well, see, the thought is, if I cast Ant Hall on myself, uh -huh. and I'm a, oh no, I can be a huge, I can be a huge. You animal. could be a dire pelican. I can be a dire <laughs> pelican, and then I can carry a lot of animals in my mouth. You could fit like a full lion in your, mm -hmm. in your crop at that point. And, and then however many I can carry in my little webbed pelican feet. Two. <laughs> Probably <laughs> one each. <laughs> Those aren't made for grasping. No, they're not made for grasping. Made so for you snack. use you use your six carry companions to pick up like the big ones. Yeah. And then you have all the small ones just like have attached. all the small ones in your mouth, mm -hmm. and then use your two feet to pick up like two more big ones. Yeah. Yes. Honest, okay. A good handle animal to next question. Improve their mood. Mm -hmm. Use that wild empathy. Where the fuck are you going to put all these animals? On our ark. We did not hire an arc. We did not hire an arc. <laughs> you can put them on you the island. <laughs> you can put them on the island. You can keep How much those... is it going to cost me to charter my own ship? That's the question. Honestly, <laughs> just get... Gold pieces. Okay, I can do that. Just, That's fine. Just get like a rowboat to like tow behind. So a rabbit walks and hops up to a captain. <laughs> Listen, man. <laughs> Listen. We've got some With a zoo behind here. them. We need to get them across the ocean. Low roll Wasn't that the bear that just like won the arena or whatever? <laughs> He's cool now, I swear. <laughs> mm. Okay, with my handle animal, that's only 17. That's I rolled a three. Not gonna be sufficient to, to improve moods to get mm -hmm. to carry companion status. Shit. Maybe if you had some meat to give them. No. That can bait them into doing things, but it cannot improve their mood towards you. Mm -hmm. At least in but what if you this kind of emergency time frame that you're in. What if what I use one of my charm animals for the day? Charm animal absolutely works for carry companion. Oh, yeah. However, okay. charm animal has a shorter duration than carry companion. Mm -hmm. And after charm animal is done, just like any it, other charm effect, they're no longer friendly with me. They are no longer friendly with you. They're reset back to where they were, and they know that mm -hmm. they were put under a charm effect. Mm -hmm. Well, I'm sure they wouldn't mind if they're liberated. It's part of Lucian's strategy. Cast Charm Animal on an animal that he can't actually make his friend, use mm -hmm. Carry Companion on it, and then he just throws him into the middle of battle. And so it's like, all right, if you want to kill me, you got to get through these, like, eight enemies yes. first. Well, I'm not going to throw them into the middle of battle, but... Well, you know. Yeah, you, you should. Know. But you say, should. <laughs> He's a combat druid. <laughs> okay. Yeah, that's the plan. So let's get as many of them as I can. What's your save DC? Save DC for Charm Animal. Ugh, what level is it? Never mind, I nat too. Okay. You can charm six of them, yeah. Awesome. Well, you can't charm six of them because charm animal takes up spell slots just like Carrie Companion does. Right? Well, I, so. I get it three times daily. Okay, so you get it three times daily. Yeah, so I can charm three. All right, you charm three animals. Mm -hmm. Who do you charm and take? Um, You could actually probably do four then. Because right now, only the red panda is friendly enough with you to like jump in your grotesque pelican beak as well. Mm -hmm. that, that handle animal check was not great. Yeah. That was a bad one. Um, and he just starts out friendly. Let's grab a, uh, a dinosaur. So yeah, little yeah. raptor. Yeah, a little raptor. What kind of dinosaurs um, are there? Like velociraptors. That's it. Basically. 
There's there's a uh, the one micro raptors. Yeah, yeah, there's like some, some compies They're and so stuff, cute. some of the littler raptors. They're the same size as you. <laughs> there's one uh, Pachycetus, you know, the headbutt guy. Mm -hmm. There's one of him running around. Let's grab uh, two that look like they're not in great shape that maybe we can help. Need a little nourishing. Yeah, a little, yeah. A little nourishing. So maybe one of the bears or something and then whoever else. Okay. Looks like they're in rough shape. Um... I would assume one of the larger creatures, probably, because they have to beat them into submission or whatever. Rhino. Yeah. So, yeah, yeah the, probably, the rhino. Probably or, a rhino. Yeah, that'd probably be the best call. Yeah, so we've got a dinosaur, a, ra um, a bear, and a rhino. A dinosaur, a bear, and a rhino. That I'm um, charming. All right. Charm them. Turn them into little statues. You tuss yep. them, tuck them into your vest. Mm -hmm. Turn into a giant bird. Scoop the red pan up. And mm hmm bail yeah. on the rest of them. Can I grab another? You and could just, claw. you could just, yeah, make just a straight grapple. Yeah. At who? Because it kind of matters because mm -hmm. they might try to like bite your foot off to yeah. get away from being It needs to be something medium-sized. Something uh, cute. Medium-sized Grab something smaller. cute. Grab a lobster. Well, you could technically grab large size or smaller, mm -hmm. but all the large size animals are like lions and bears and mm -hmm. You Why probably don't want to just grab one of those and try to off of Can you grab a turtle and we can name it Turt Russell? Sure. <laughs> There's turtles. Um, There's like big tortoises. <laughs> sure. Let's grab a giant tortoise. Yeah, he just tucks into a shell. Super easy. Turt Russell. There we go. It's heavy, but you know, yeah. you just use both feet. Kids can, Kids can ride Turt Russell. <laughs> you fly back to the ship. You guys are just starting to load up and the just before sales are set, and you're like, hold on, you gotta wait just a little while longer. We got two more coming. <laughs> just two more. This humongous pelican just collides onto the bow of the ship with a tortoise in its feet. And a red panda in And it mouth. opens up its beak, and a red panda yes. comes out. <laughs> she got the red panda. I told you it would be a good All of the crew are just like. And then I shake Kenosi's uh, stone off <laughs> and let him out. <laughs> Crossbows are getting pulled out and stuff like, what the fuck is yeah. going on? I'm just going to start slowly sheathing this. And I'm assuming next. that at this point, the I'm freedom sheath. of movement is probably wearing off because it yeah. took some time to get back to the ship. Yeah. So. And a fortitude save. Yeah. Okay. As all that poison hits you at once. <laughs> Enough to knock 15. out like an elephant. Yeah, you, you land, you, uh, and Kenosi pops out. Mm -hmm. You keep the other animals yeah. still in stone form. Do you turn back into rabbit form? Yeah. And then you just. You just lay down and you're just out. Good, now I don't even have to explain myself. Yeah, Kenosi just grabs her by, got a handle on the back, like what a little dog fuck? vest. What the hell is this? Waves at you and just walks over. Does she turn to back to the rabbit? Yeah. 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 Everybody on the crew is just slack jawed looking. What the fuck did she do? <laughs> the tortoise comes out of his shell and he's just kind of looking around. Starts slowly walking towards the ramp to like go onto the island. What does what does I anybody go, stop him? Yeah, I go pick up the torch. Yeah, he sucks <laughs> back into the shell. Big sucker too. Oh man, dude. You're, you're talking like an 80 pound tortoise. You can oh, pick him up just yeah, fine. Okay. But, what, what? but it's not like oh, I just go grab him real quick. Yeah, no, this is like got the tortoise. An issue. <laughs> what the fuck? What, what what the fuck? You know, just get it on the ship. We'll we'll, we'll deal. She'll wake up sometime. <laughs> She's in deep shit when she wakes up. Do you want to grab the red panda? I don't want it to run away. Yeah, I'll grab the red panda. Yeah, you walk up to this little thing and it just looks at you with these defiant eyes and just... Ah! <laughs> You're so cute. And you just like grab him and hoist it. I'm going to scratch its tummy. You scratch it and it just flops over onto its back. <laughs> start and just starts like tummy. kicking at you. It's so cute. Yeah, it's, it's a pretty adorable. Make a uh, handle animal check if you're going to pick it up. I don't want to pick it up. Oh, and it's, and it's a bear, bear, right? It, it, it is, is technically, technically a bear. Bonuses yeah, bears. so you, get your, you do get hey, your bear I bonus. Hey, I grabbed a bear. It's, We're going to nurture this bear back to health. It's not the bear he wanted. It's not, I wanted yeah. He already looked at it. Okay. Yeah, we, we looked at this bear and we're like, No, but I no, grabbed a bear. No. Yeah. Yeah, Yeah. I have a sick bear. We looked at that exact <laughs> bear and we were like, no. So that's a the bear's weak. 32? Oh, yeah. You don't have to pick him up. He climbs up and is hanging out on your shoulder. Scratch smelly. Oh, yeah. We're just gonna let out a he loves you. deep sigh and then just look at the crew <laughs> and just be like, all right, let's go. Well, dude. Yes. Yeah. You, uh, you go to walk over onto the boat. I need a reflex save as you 
look across to your party and sigh. Okay. Yeah. 26. Uh, good. You do not trip on your puppy who has gotten under your foot. As all good dogs do. Indeed. Yeah. I pick him up. You sign, you're like, oh, and then you like I can't stumble a little now. bit over. I'm about to say, it's, just, it's a fucking giant di dire wolf now. Yeah. I can't pick it up. <laughs> he perks up, he stands, he's like a little over hip height for you. Dope. Let's go. Everybody boards the vessel. You guys ship off. Um, have the tortoise now? Plans for the week. So I am going to be casting uh, Build Trust, which is a paladin spell that I just found out about. Um, essentially just gives me bonuses um, for a target like learning how like what they like sort of deal gives me bonuses on um, yeah maybe you should do that with your children <laughs> <laughs> they already trust me they they went into battle with me that's that's trust um, the, girls, the girls all seem pretty distant from you they rely on you for survival there's a difference unless unless you're going to reach out to them at any point on this trip they're not really training <laughs> they're kind of just good thing you have that spell a couple times a, a day right? right now uh yeah i can cast it uh it lasts for one day per level and i can cast it four times a day there you um, go so yeah i will rotate with the children fuck it yeah so every day <laughs> i will use uh one on the dog um, or rather, I won't have to because it lasts the entire week that we're there. Cool. So uh, yeah, I'll cast it on the dog on and the dog. all the children. And all the, yeah. Um, You're gonna have yeah. to make your rolls. Yeah, 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 yeah. And so uh, either love for diplomacy, sense motive for the kids, handle animal for the dog. So yeah, 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 yeah. Um, and yeah, so like for the dog, this is gonna be like week-long training montage because I have the book yeah and uh, learned about the dog yeah that stuff got the book you're doing um, some learning you're doing some rolling so do you want like seven separate rolls for like, each day okay we'll just so, do one we'll give you some nice big bonuses for your spelling for the book and for the amount of time spent all righty so for the dog god damn it um so for the dog that's only going to be so, so, uh, two on top of that so that's uh, that's only going to be a 17 um, for the dog he plus knows whatever his, the He uh, knows books. his name and you get sit. Dope. Doesn't uh, quite yeah, he gets a little brother. excited though, so it's kind of like you can get him to sit, but you can't do like the sit and then walk away from him and he stays there kind gotcha. of thing. He's going to follow you. Gotcha. And then uh, I'll roll. He's also starting to suffer from the problem right now because he's been spending a massive amount of time with the girls. This dog's getting pretty fucking friendly for uh, a guard or attack dog, you know? Good. Mm. Let him be friendly. That's going to be a no. Uh, <laughs> yeah, I'll roll. So I'll, I'll roll for the, the, the trust with the, uh, with the girls. Um, yeah, for each one individually? Uh, so like, do you sure, sure. Yeah, because, you know, is this your these are human beings. Results Which, will vary. Do you want the red yeah, panda? And I do yeah. kind of need, especially I mean, since they're people, and you're not necessarily training them, them you're just trying to connect. When we get back, I, I need a little more. What are you trying to? What are you trying to connect with them about? To yeah, well, you know, you, know, you, you figure out to, their, the figure out their likes, have dislikes. Have yeah, where they wanna, come from. Who do you want to start with? I want to um, save up for a bigger start with bear. Caroline because she had a rough time. Caroline had a very rough time. But also now we just have a red panda buddy. Let's go, baby. If he so that's a net you, 20 that's yeah, with huh? the, uh, my diplomacy, which adds a 5, it's just, so that's going to be 25. Serious, serious um, ass, like 7 foot and 9 And then Viking. plus 2 from the, the spell, it. so on, it's going to be a 27. On my shoulder, just like... And I just read that uh, I can re-roll a, uh, a bad check as an immediate action with uh -huh. this spell. So oh, okay. So I'm going to so do that for the dog. Yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, so it like helps with like, um, charisma rolls? Yeah, so we'll, we'll do Caroline Whoever first. it's on or whatever. Like, yeah, you know, she she's not into very like your traditional struggle, lady like, like anything. Really she's quickly, very right into you, and, like, working like, out and, and the person being is, like, physically yeah, active, her getting her heart you know, pumping like, and stuff. Yeah. Like that. She's feeling rather distraught over fighting demons, getting set on fire a couple of times, and having to bury herself in the dirt to, you know, keep from dying. Um, she seems pretty insistent that if you guys are going to keep doing this adventuring thing with them, you got to start bringing them to smaller parts. 
and you know, you guys, you guys have a really nice couple heart to hearts over the course of this trip, and she really does seem to calm down and open back up. Dope. Look at you, building See, trust. In there, I found this spell, and I was like, "This is also the easiest one for you to connect with because you're very similar in yeah, interests." Like yeah. All right. Uh, so I'll re let me reroll the dog. Reroll for servers. Way better. Not a nat twenty, but a nineteen. Sink. Um, so that's gonna be uh, to claw uh, I would not do that now. <laughs> so that's gonna be a. Thirty a panda bomb. Yeah, like thirty-one. Now you've got like the stay, and he'll sit immediately and sit right there until you call him to come to you specifically. He's you got him really keyed into your voice specifically, and he's he's getting this idea that when you're talking to him and you're around him, you got a more business-like relationship. And during all these conversations with the girls, I'm going to tell him to like ease up on the dog. He's in training. Yeah. Caroline will agree because you nat 20 yeah. But uh, it's going to be rough. Yeah. yeah. All right. So next, we'll go with uh, we'll go with Adara because you know that's yeah. like my first child, that was, firstborn. That was the first. Even though she's the youngest, firstborn. <laughs> Let's go, baby! All right. So. <laughs> That's going to be 19 plus 5, going to give you to a 24, so plus bigger. 2, 26. Plus six what do you want to connect with the dog? I handle it. Oh, you know, just same so thing. Just like on these bears. Just trying to connect. Yeah. Figure she, it out. Just she doesn't like, seem to have any problem hanging out with you. She, she seems to like you just fine. And yeah. Trying to, trying to you, build you that guys have never on, quite you know? had. You guys have never had a problem yet. Yeah. And so... She came in. She she's she's a pretty she's pretty natural at this now. She's feeling a little weird being older, you know, six years older. Yeah, we'll we'll in, talk about that. In a couple of days was quite a big, quite a big change. And I like bringing uh, it's Ellie for you know the changes of the female yeah. body because I don't know shit about that. So like, talk <laughs> oh to your mom about that. Oh my god! <laughs> Listen, this is just your job, okay? Anyway. <laughs> <laughs> Roll that charisma check. Take a swig first. <laughs> Absolutely take that swig. You know, Adara is is rather upset about, of course, you know, fully losing her eyesight, <laughs> and then just a couple weeks later gaining six years on her life. She she agreed to it rather quickly and Wow, I wonder why talking children like into this was a bad idea. It's fantastic. Their um, sipping on my bendy straw. Yeah, and now you're gonna have to talk with her. <gasps> Oh shit! Perfect timing! Thank High God. five! <laughs> High five! We needed that. At 20, 22 total. With the bendy straw bonus. <laughs> With the bendy straw bendy bonus. Straw. She is initially horrified at the things you have to tell her, but eventually comes around to understanding that it is a natural part of becoming a woman. Dope. And even gets a little excited and is like, so can I like go on dates now? Oh God. We've created monsters. Am I am I pretty Not to we, go on dates? You. I blame you. It, how pretty is Adara? She's a cute kid. Yeah, you're pretty enough to go on dates. Maybe roll a D10 to find yes. out. <laughs> I mean, All the girls talk that, and say that Jimmy's like super cute, so. Oh my god. No. Uh, not with Jimmy. No, he has a cocaine problem. We don't, no. <laughs> <laughs> you say, he's planning on making cocaine when we get home. You yeah. just look over. <laughs> He look, I don't have he's, a he's currently like hanging out on the deck of the ship, just like leaned back, just like, like oh sweet Jesus, I can breathe, <laughs> like, like a like a cocaine mustache. Like, oh yeah. no, he is he is he has in, a working lung again. He is in rehabilitation. He's not doing any of that shit right now. And it's really like you know, might have gotten played up a little bit. He doesn't really have a big problem with it. It's a utilization to stay up through the night because he was Blood Fist's only real agent. Right. Being able to scout all of those woods. You need something to keep you going. The Germans use methamphetamine. Jimmy uses cocaine. Yeah. You know, same thing. Same, same, same thing. Um, We've all but been there. different. <laughs> yeah, so we got fucking got Dara. We'll go to Amelia next. Yeah. She's uh, just buried in her books most of the time. She's really taken to some of those ladylike books that you have. She seems to really be enjoying kind of like, oh, and did you know there's soup spoons and those are different from... <laughs> Perfect. I need her to know these things. All these different Who's things. enjoying 
Amelia. Amelia. So that's going to be uh, 16 plus <laughs> 5, we'll put me at 21, plus 23. You do have a little bit harder time truly connecting with her. She's not at all interested in any kind of real physical activity besides, you know, the, the just base working with her hands to enchant items and do those that, ooh, excuse me, do those couple of things. You're not a crafty guy. <laughs> She's really like, into I feel like, like Uzzel, Uzzel would have like he would have picked up like whittling. I, I can make like I can make like a pretty good looking bird. You do a little yeah, you do a little whittling. She, yeah, you guys can connect a little bit over that. You do have one really easy in with her right now. Oh, Alicia's with us. Forgot about that. You do have Alicia, yeah, yeah. who is a ritual caster. Uh, not necessarily, not necessarily the same as an enchanter, but relatively close. Yeah. I was leaning more towards the fact that you got this giant rotting demon skull that you're looking to turn into what parts of your shield. You know, I haven't really gotten that far. It's just you know, a trophy. But yeah, I'll, I'll, I'll show so, that you know, to her. Talking to her about maybe plans with that and doing things with an item. Yes, and I also have yeah those uh, those fucking uh, blue uh, crystals and everything. Yeah, you Look got those Uzzel couple becoming blue crystals a dad. and stuff. There you go. That, you know. Yeah, yeah, she can connect pretty decent with that. So proud of him. So proud. they grow up so fast. Literally. Literally. Uh, <laughs> it still seems though that it's it's almost a little more of a business like relationship that uh, that she that she is trying to develop with you. Ooh. She's networking with you. Ooh. Yeah. And she's um, really caught in like the networking mindset. Fair enough, fair enough. Um, let's see. Fuck it, I'm actually going to use one of those with uh, Alicia. Oh. And, because uh, I, I, I can do this so many fucking times. If yeah. We have a week, and it lasts a week. And it lasts a full week. So, uh, yeah, I'll use it on Alicia, and just essentially just roll diplomacy and just ask her, um, what the fuck was that? Yeah, yeah, she's been just shaken, and she hasn't spoken a whole lot. Yeah, we'll do the build trust, you know, get her to open thing. up and then hit her with yeah. the, what the fuck was that? You bring some fine wine and cheese kind yeah, of deal. Yeah, 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 yeah. You, you've met her a couple of times. She can be wined and dined pretty easily. Yeah, 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 yeah. Um, now let's see this fucking... No! You do get the re-roll with it. I do! Yeah. So. Yes! <laughs> no! <laughs> she ain't telling you shit, boy. There's only three better. Okay, so that's going to be... Uh, da, 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 da. Solid twelve. Is she? She doesn't seem to open up a whole lot, but she is most certainly willing to explain why she was there. She explains the way she explains it. She was on her way back. She works just at the foot of the Iron Mountains, of course, at that new ski resort that's going in. She was collecting the ritual magics to then use to help with construction spells and weather altering spells to make it snow and shit like that um but on her way she was confronted by a member of the secret police and was told that her magical services had been called upon and that it was her duty to serve under the mad king and she needed to go with him she was then immediately put onto a boat with a strange contingency of folks that she didn't, she didn't know at all, including this woman, was taken to Dragon Sanctuary and was forced to use her ritual magic channeling abilities to take the magic out of Offwash's green fire and put it into those cubes, which would then allow humans to utilize the magic. How many of those cubes did you get? I, I don't know. A couple dozen, maybe? How do, you, uh, how do you feel about all that? It's, it's horrifying. You saw those things that were around, and that whole time, that huge one that the little halfling guy fought was just looming over, and I was, I was told very clearly, we were all told that if we stepped out of line, that we would wind up like one of those mask people. Oh, yeah, because I was a god. Yeah, yeah, they kind of, they didn't really explain it, but yeah, I was able to pick up from content clues, context clues. Um, the woman who was with me initially, uh, with the, the straight black hair, kind of bob cutted, um, she was kind of running the whole operation. She, I think, works at the Lone Tower, um, just right along the Great Wall, 
over by Ludshire. Um, thank you for getting me out of there. I'm going to go back to my resort and just hope they don't come for me again. Yeah, like if, since that whole thing was interrupted, like, are you going to get in trouble for that or something? Well, the operation, I, like I, I might. Um, I like to think. Of course, I don't know if they can necessarily blame me for not fighting to the death. Um, but I don't know. I really don't know. I think we were kind of towards the tail end of our deal anyway. But I know I was supposed to at least do another six to a dozen. All right. Well, glad you're safe. Thank you. Yeah. Lucky we uh, came up when we did. Don't know what. Don't know what that god was up to, but was, things were looking pretty rough. It was some deal with the military. Uh, the the magics that I was dealing with were very strong. Um, the the lady wouldn't tell me much of anything, not even her name, but uh, whatever they're doing with it, it's it's going to be very powerful. Well, we still have a little bit of time till we uh, get back to uh, shore. So, were you doing stuff. official work, <laughs> going and attacking the demons? Or was that just you guys going to the ruins and not expecting to see us there? Oh yeah, I had no idea you were going to be there. We well, were there for you know. I had no idea I was going to be there. Yeah, that wasn't that wasn't exactly planned. We were trying to go and like you know, maybe box a god, but we didn't know about all that until we got there. <laughs> Adventure stuff, you know. <coughs> Strange life you live. Yeah. So long. Really as, keeps the blood So long as you're not doing anti-government work, though, you know, you gotta be careful. Oh with god. That. Yeah, you know, yeah, that would be terrible. That would, that would definitely, it just get hinder you, our party. It would get you in a lot of trouble. Yeah, it would. I can get imagine executed for that. Yeah, honestly, people get executed for less, but what? <laughs> I mean, usually it's anti-government work. Actually, hmm. usually it's treason. Ah, oh, well, I mean, that's, that's the most common. They kill a bunch of those kids that they send to the camp. So, like, well. And they're doing, like, actual government work. I don't, you're preaching I don't to have, the wrong choir, my friend. I don't have a lot of understanding of what actually goes on at that camp. My understanding is it's supposed to train them to use their sport for use in the war. Because everybody with magical talent owes in one way or another. I was lucky that I got picked up through and am on a small contract because my sport talent's very useful. But... The camp would have a very high mortality rate. You know, you look at a lot of those kids, and it's not necessarily combat capable central, you know? It's a terrible thing, but war is war. Fair enough, fair enough. Well, enjoy the ride. We'll uh, be on shore Thank shortly. You. Thank you. Of course. Back to the children. <laughs> yeah. Who's next? Um. You still got Maria. I still have Maria and... You better make sure that none of your children say anything about our anti-government beliefs we, 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 in front we, of her. We've had the conversation. They know what's up. After, um, after he does his child There's thing. Maria. And then there's Frida. Frida. There you go. There you go. <laughs> there's a lot of children. Can I try and improve my relationship with these bears? After he's yeah, doing a lot of Absolutely. Stuff. Well, one of them is still in a stone. And I'm because probably still be passed out. Very unpredictable when you let him. Over the course of the week, you most certainly wake up. But you're out for. I know. I figure it's at least a couple or, days. Yeah. Yeah. You're out for at least a day's worth of time. So, once I get out. Start with Frida. Well, the, the red the red pandas. What do you try yeah, to? Yeah, the red panda you can work with. But the other. How side. do you try to bridge this relationship? Um. What well, does you know? Chat so about the fact that like you. she died, came back older, must be rough. What are you doing? Well, she really <laughs> doesn't want to talk about that. Um, however, with a let's see, with a twenty-seven diplomacy, maybe she does. It, it's not necessarily like a you know she's traumatized from it and doesn't want to open up. It just it honestly seems unimportant to her at this point. Fair enough. Then we'll... she, she, she seems to be content that she made a decision to come back to use her magic to help people. 
We'll talk about the uh, the training she, that she did with. Uh, she Jeremy. seems to be very pleased with how she looks, and um, immediately when you start bringing something like that up, she brings up trying to gain, trying to get Jimmy's attention. Oh well, I mean, that's, and that's not... seems a little disappointed that it's that it's really not working, and seems to almost be digging for some advice. Not Jimmy. Jimmy, kind this of might be killing. an asshole thing, but it might solve a lot of problems. Yeah. I'm just going to look at her and be like, you know, I think he actually might be gay. <laughs> Nobody's talked to him. Yeah, oh, not, my not, God. You guys might have, you guys might have like, solved this problem by talking to somebody about it. But yeah, yeah, I'll, just, yeah. I'll, I'll just drop that seat in there. There girl. Yeah, she just kind of like, looks really confused and looks at him and looks at you and goes, Hmm. And if she, he is, he can give me much that. better advice than any of you can. That's all I'm gonna say. Just like, just like walk by and just like on the cheek. <laughs> no! <laughs> don't say anything. Just Absolutely Jimmy. don't. Just like <laughs> that. Um, yeah, and uh, that's wow. pretty much all I have. Just you know, just chatting with her. <laughs> yeah. You know, building that trust as yeah. per the spell. She really seems to want to talk about boys. Oh well, you know. But yeah, they're all in puberty right now. Yeah, but you know, except for. Uh, um, um, I guess. All right, I'll move on to uh, skip past that. Part. Maria, <laughs> they all She's are. finished. Yeah. It's still. Oh, I know. Let's go, baby! <laughs> is that another nap twenty? It is. Fuck rolling that. <laughs> <laughs> you say that now. So that's gonna be <laughs> a. I'll tell you what. Right out the gate. Twenty-eight. <laughs> the simple fact that you have seeked out to have conversations with her over the course of this week has already done a lot. What do you wish to uh, connect with? I'll just ask her about her, uh, ask her about her sport talent. If she's figured out anything new with it, like well, how's the whole being older thing? <laughs> Wait, well, she's the one that no. Amelia was the one that said no. Right? Amelia is the only one that said no. Yeah. So Maria's older as well. She's three years older now. Yeah. Uh, well, yeah. No, I, I'm, you know, I'm doing well. Um, I am able to change different parts of my body to different shades and colors now, um, which is really nice. I wasn't able to do too terribly much with patterns before. I just, I've been, ha I've been struggling a lot lately. I really feel like, you know, my talent's no good and that I was only picked because nobody else was available. And, you know, I know that I was a random backup pick and that just kind of, weighs heavy on me, you know? I've been struggling with that. Um, the other girls are really nice, but it doesn't really seem like anybody notices me. And you know, I get it, I, I kind of turn invisible, but. Well, trust me, being the, uh, being the odd man out, it's, it's honestly better not to be noticed than to be noticed. And I'll like share a couple of stories of how like I was the odd man out and yeah. she was rough. Yeah. And uh, she can connect with you very well over that. Yeah, I'll I'll also just talk to her about the fact that like, you know, there just hasn't really been any like practical applications to come up for your sport talent, but believe me, there will be. Especially if you keep working <clears throat> on it and you're already making progress, so she gets a nice confidence boost from that. And like if anything, we'll like spend some time just like hanging out and I'll be like, try to look like me. Yeah, yeah, she can't change, you know, size or shape or yeah. anything like that, but she can turn skin green and then have, like, you know, upper lips turn white to imitate the tusks. She can make fake wrinkles and stuff. Yeah. I'll give her, like, a soft thumbs up. You're getting there. Yeah. You, you, haven't, quite nice you haven't quite captured the uh, majestic beauty of this man. Oh. Get close. <laughs> Just get a, a little, little quiet laugh. giggle at that. <laughs> Dope. And, uh, yeah, that, that's... That's all of them. Excellent work. And I'll just be doing that same thing pretty much Does the entire week. Does nobody talk to Jimmy about this? <laughs> nah. nah. Fuck it. I have fine. another. Ch I have plenty of casts of this spell. Yeah. I'll go to Jimmy. Dude gonna... just got a new lung in his leg working, and he has to deal with all these. I'm gonna young go up, girls. Yeah, I'll just. I'll, I'll newly coming into the adulthood. fuck out of him. <laughs> oh my god. Tongue and all. No. You can. <laughs> I was like, you don't know this guy, like at all. No, no, no. Yeah, I'll go talk with him. You know, ask how it is. You know, not being broken. I, East boy, I gotta tell you, any of this. I feel fantastic. This has been really great. Thank you guys for coming, and uh, you know, 
in no small part, I used your reputation to rope Derek into all this shit and got the free operations. So it's, it's been uh, it's been really nice. What the fuck happened to the kids? What do you mean? Well, they were like I tried to fucking ten. Oh yeah. So uh, we found a bunch of uh, coral and you know their children and. They're probably going to die if they continue to be children, and we're probably taking them into you know, a lot of dangerous situations. So we use the uh, the corals to make them older. That way, it increase their powers, and you know, gave them a little bit more survivability. Uh, coral, Following corals that make them older. Yeah, it was green. Uh, Pretty cool. Ain't never heard of that, but um, magic shit. Yeah. Tell him. They all they, really like you. They've been like staring and gossiping, man. And I gotta, I gotta tell you, like, I'm pretty uncomfortable. <laughs> Hear me out. I've already sowed the seed for you. I'm looking out for you, buddy. Oh, God. Just tell him you're gay. Well, yeah. <laughs> Perfect. Awesome. <laughs> Didn't know that. We haven't really talked about, you know, relationships because, you know, life nah. in that situations. You know, yeah. Never really Getting asked. Filled with holes, you know, don't really, uh, you're not hitting on me, are you? <laughs> no, I'm, I'm trying to save you from, you know, the, the, the girl. I'm in the, I'm in the. Softer guys. Fair enough. Oh. I mean, that, that's cool, I guess. Maybe mm -hmm. just talk that E spell. Kind of, mm -hmm. kind of looks like a bitch. Nah, but, he's, uh, he's way too big, man. Eh. I gotta. I, I'm not. I'm not a big guy, right? Just, I understand. Just like coughs up like a couple of icicles. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not. I'm not like you know a huge burly man or whatever, but he's into twinks. That's what he's trying to say. God damn it. Well, fair enough. I gotta wear the pants in my room. Golden Labrador. <laughs> fair enough. Well, good talk, champ. I'll let him know. Yeah, please do. Yeah. I'll go and I'll just like huddle all the girls together and be like, all right, got some news. Man, how many <laughs> problematic things can we fit into might, one uh, session, guys? Might hurt some feelings, but uh, homie's totally into dudes. So like, you guys could just... Yeah, Frida's very disappointed. Yeah. The, the rest of the gals seem to, like a light bulb seems to click. And they're like, oh, I see. <laughs> now they can go be actual friends. Yeah. All right, cool. And uh, that's all I got, really. Yeah. And again, just more relationship bonding throughout the trip. Teach the dogs some new stuff. But, uh, yeah. yeah. I want to hang out with this bear. Do you this let the panda. bear no, The loose. red panda first. Oh, okay. All right. Yeah. yeah. Crazy red panda. Yeah, the red panda. He's, he's pretty easy to, to get on your side with things. What are you, what are you aiming for? War panda. <laughs> War panda. No, honestly. He's ready for it. <laughs> He's, like, he's, he's there, I, he's I, like... If you kill this motherfucking red panda, I not, will kill listen, you. He's like, put a helmet he's, on me with you. some holes for my ears to stick out of, and I will murder anything. I, I sling some spells, fucking bro. love him. <laughs> he's how ready to kill. How smart is he? He's dumber I, than a sack of bricks. Can he count? No. No, he's a red panda. He's a red panda, what are you talking about? Can he count? Can I teach him? <laughs> no! Just tie some Right, you can't actually hands. speak to bears. No. You don't have Sylvan? No. He's a barbarian. He's a barbarian. He's barbarian. not a druid or anything like that. It's it's exclusively through RDO that he has I'm any kind of I'm actually a trapper. <laughs> yeah. <he's>... What? <laughs> Listen. <laughs> so no, you, you know like the basics of animal training. Yeah. And you know, he's... I want to teach him... He's a dumb dog, right? Like, okay. He's, I want to teach him not to gonna stay be, on my shoulder. He's not going to be like Cerberus level, like... Stay, walk away, hang out my legs. Yeah, he's not as smart as Kenosi. You know, not as smart as Kenosi. Nobody's smart as Kenosi. I know. Can I just teach him to, like, hang on my shoulders? Oh, yeah. Yeah, he, yeah. very easily. Can I, like, just improve relationship with him? You yeah, know, maybe with a handle animal. Give him, give him some food or something like that? Oh, yeah, bait always helps. All the girls really want to play with That's the 20, red panda, though. 26. Oh, yeah. Oh, dude. Yeah, this, is, this guy's yours. I'll, uh, I'll, I'll tell them that uh, instead of playing with uh, the big scary wolf dog, play with the red panda. Right. Or they're all smart enough to understand that they're not necessarily put in an either or situation. They, they know, especially now that East is like the one who's really in with the red panda, that you don't actually have control over who hangs out with it. But I have control over who hangs out with this dog. Kind of. <laughs> kind of do. Like throughout the throughout the trip, I'll have the dog with me like at all times. Yeah, and that really helps with the training. But you're gonna start going on adventures again, and you know we'll get you didn't you didn't bring him to Dragon Sanctuary. You left him with a whole bunch of the gals. Yeah, because he was still you know. Can I? Teach he wasn't you to young, but he was dumb. Like in its mouth. Probably. Like dog. Probably not. 
He could eh. he could do like a little fetch, but like catching a frisbee in the air kind of thing. That's like if just that's like probably just like a little physically crumb? outside of him. Oh yeah, like little crumbs and stuff. Yeah, like yeah. something like that. Little slices of hot dog, easy. Yeah. I thought you meant like you were gonna toss like a frisbee and he was gonna catch it out of the air oh, kind God, of thing. But it was just like if he got in the water. He, oh my God. Yeah. It's like physically, he's just not quite <laughs> what you're looking for for that. Or a panda. <laughs> He I'm thinks he's you, ready for that, though. I'm telling you, man. Every time when, when after you come to, uh -huh. when, when he's sitting there and he's like, oh, you're so little cute, and he's like, I am the destroyer of worlds. I'm yeah. destroyer of worlds. Take me with you. I am ready. I will I will fight God for you. You got spunk. He tosses, you know, a little bit of sausage. He catches it in his mouth, and he's like, I am ready. <laughs> yeah. I'm absolutely not telling you that. My ancestors Definitely will... Not. will Gaze upon me in nothing but glory. But I'm proud of you. Glory. I'm yeah. proud. Valhalla. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> oh, oh, uh, I want. Does get he have him a, a pouch. Name? You like a kangaroo pouch for yeah, him? Like a, like a baby Bjorn? Yeah. yeah easy. There's there's material and stuff around. There's some crafty people on the boat. Five gold pieces. Easy. So I can teach him to like fetch stuff, right? Yeah, you're like you throw something, he'll bring it back to you, kind of deal. Can I just can I? Is there any way I can just teach him to grab specific things, like like teach him words for oh, like? Probably not, but if I just like ingrain you a word, could, you could explain things to him enough to get that down. But no, he's pretty dumb. It's okay. And you know, every time he like he gets a little piece of wood or whatever and throws it across the deck, this thing goes, picks it up, brings it back, and he's like, "Your mace battle master. <laughs> you cannot go unarmed." I love Fantastic. This <laughs> love this guy. Oh my god. He's perfect. What are you naming him? <laughs> I'm th I was thinking about that. I had. Does he have his own name? Think about it as we go to break. We'll be right back in a couple of minutes. Yes. All right. I love how you said no to getting the red panda, <laughs> and then as soon as the red panda was here, <laughs> oh you're like, I have the red panda. <laughs> <laughs> I have red panda. I'll take it. That's why you hey guys, if you liked what you saw, please consider subscribing and following us over on Twitch. Thank you.